How's it going guys? My name is Dom and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a super array using JavaScript. Now, when I say super array, I'm simply referring to us creating a new array type extending off the built-in array plus adding custom functionality. So you might find that there are certain methods available on arrays in other languages that you can't gain access to in JavaScript by default. So why not create your own version of the array? Now, whether or not this is good practices in the air, there are mixed opinions online, but to be honest, for small projects or just experimenting, there's nothing wrong with extending off the array and adding your own custom functionality to make it do things that you want it to do. And before jumping into the code for today's video, I want to quickly mention my Udemy courses. I'm now uploading once again, so you can find the link in the description down below. My recent course was a JavaScript DOM crash course, which is perfect for beginners who are trying to learn the JavaScript DOM. All right, now back into super arrays, let's hop into VS Code. Now, like I mentioned at the very beginning of today's video, we're gonna be extending off the built-in array type to add custom functionality. So we're gonna be doing this using JavaScript classes. Let's go at the top of this JavaScript file right here and say class super array. And this right here is us defining our new array type. We're now gonna say extends and extends the built-in array this way. Um, it's going to, or our super array is going to inherit all of the same functionality as a standard array, okay? Now this is all we need to start using our new super array type. Let's drop down here. We're gonna say const people is equal to, then say a new instance of super array. Now, this right here is going to inherit the constructors available in the built-in array. This means I can now do something like, for example, Henry, then I can say Bianca, I can say Rose, I can say Johnny, then I'll just say Rose once again, because later on I'm gonna be showing you a technique to remove duplicates using this method, but we can see here we've simply created a new super array of people's names, okay? Now, if I was to console.log people here, we can see in the console upon running this script, we're gonna get the super array and we get the standard array syntax. So we have a new type, which inherits the same abilities as a standard array. Now, the reason why this works is because you can actually create a normal array using this syntax. As an example, let's duplicate this line here and we'll say people old equal to a new array this time. Now we can just say console.log people old, run it again, and we get the standard array. Then of course our super array from earlier on. So the super array is simply inheriting the same uh, constructor as the standard array. So that's why you're able to do this, okay? Now let's remove the old standard array and go back to our new super array. Now we have the basic structure set up. We're gonna take a look at how to add some custom functionality inside this class definition. Let's add a new method to retrieve the last item inside the array. We can call this method last, and this is simply going to return. We're gonna be returning here this.slice at negative one, then say it index zero. Remember guys, of course, we can call slice on this because this is simply a standard array as it inherits the built-in standard array, okay? So calling slice on negative one is gonna give us an array of one element and that element is going to be the last item in the array. We can then say, okay, cool, got the array, let's get the first index, which gives us that last element, okay? We can now say here, console.log people.last and call that method there, save this, go back in the console, run it again, and we get rows as the last element. So you guys can add whatever methods you want onto this super array. It literally is a canvas for you guys to now add your own custom functionality. I'm gonna be showing you a few more methods that I like in today's video. So the second one here is gonna be uh, something called first. 
and it's simply going to return us this at index zero, giving us the first element. It's basically just a shortcut for saying brackets index zero. We can say console.log and we'll say people.first and this time we can see we get Henry. So we get that first element right there. All right. Now, one of my favorites here is going to be to remove the duplicates on the array. Let's call this method without duplicates and it's going to return a new super array without any duplicates. So we're going to get rid of this second rows here. All right. Let's go inside here now. We're going to return and we're going to be using the array from and the set trick. We're going to say here super array dot from. Okay. Then just say new set and pass in this. For those of you unfamiliar with the set uh, data structure, this is simply a collection of items and they can't be any duplicates inside the set. So now we're calling superarray.from and we're making a new instance of the superarray from the set. Let's now call people dot without duplicates. And we can see here, we get a super array without the duplicate rows. Okay. Another example of a method is going to be called insert. Let's duplicate this right here. Call this method insert. It's going to take in an index and a value. So we're going to be able to insert a particular new value at an index. Okay. And simply modify the array in place. Now we're going to be using the splice method for this. So we'll say here, this dot splice at the index, we're going to be removing zero elements and insert the value. Okay. So once again, just like the first method, it's a shortcut for some standard array behavior. So instead of having to call splice and, you know, going on stack overflow to remember what to do here, you simply called insert and you get to insert a new value. Let's go down here. We're going to say console.log people. But before that, we're going to say people dot insert at index. Uh, let's do index three and we insert the name of Amanda. All right. I'll save this run and again. We get Henry, Bianca, Rose, Amanda, index three. Then Johnny gets pushed aside. So that's your insert method. And the last one I want to show you guys is pretty simple. It's called clear. So here we're going to simply clear out the array in place. We're going to do this using a while loop. So we'll say while this dot length is greater than zero. Okay. I'm going to say here this dot pop. So remove, remove the last item in the array. Okay. While there is a length of more than zero, we can now say people dot clear. Then we'll simply log out people run it again. As we can see, we get zero items in the super array. So like I said, guys, you guys can now take this code right here. You can add your own custom methods and make your super array do whatever you wish. That is all for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. As usual, if you did, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.